number two from Shenandoah Motorsport Park. Hello everyone, I'm Pierre Savoy and I'm standing here in pit lane waiting for what should be the last scheduled pit stop in the second race of the Valvoline Touring Car Championship. In this particular championship we have three classes of cars. With me today to help me keep track of all this is Pat Gonzalez. Pat, you saw the start of the race today. It seems like we're in for some serious action this year. Well, Pierre, what's impressed me most is the depth of both the talent and commitment representing the field of drivers competing here at Shannonville. You know, we've got past champions such as Ludwig Heimrath. We have novice racers as well as pure hobbyists who are just out here for the fun of competing on the racetrack. They've all taken up the challenge of this grueling race format in the Valvoline Touring Car Championship. The 1995 season will be nine events combining three classes of specifically prepared cars. And we'll visit some of the most popular road courses in the country. Shannonville Motorsport Park, world famous Mosport Park, and a special stop at historic Le Circuit Mont Tremblant. The teams will be tested in one, three, and five hour races this season. And in most cases, there'll be a mandatory pit stop for a timed one minute or a driver change. Any servicing, including refueling, changing tires, or brake pads, will be completed by the five crew that are permitted over the wall. A challenge for even the best prepared teams. It's obvious that the Heimrath Porsche team is prepared and prepared to win. They currently lead Class 1. The Class 2 field is dominated by the Volkswagens. Gunter Schmidt has brought two cars to this event. Number 37, Corrado, is shared by his drivers, Gord Cullen and Nigel Gleason, and they currently lead Class 2. The NTN bearing Suzuki Swift of Scott Primo and Mark Lemieux currently leads Class 3. The Suzuki is small, but very fast. Throughout the field, we have great racing in each of the three classes, and with some thoughts on how your car might fit into this excitement, here's Pat Gonzalez with a look at each of our three classes. There are three classes of cars competing in this season's Valvoline Touring Car Championship. These shining examples represent the cream of the crop in each of those classes. Look for Class 3 to be a hotbed of competition, with Ron Green and David Ross in this Honda CRX battling with the likes of Mark Lemieux and Scott Primo in the NTN Suzuki. If you own a Civic or Prelude, perhaps a Chrysler Neon, BMW 318, or any one of these other eligible cars, you too could be testing the limits in Class 3. Gunnar Schmidt and the Volkswagen team have returned in Class 2 this season. He'll co-drive a Volkswagen Jetta along with Alistair Oak. Gord Cullen and Nigel Gleason will drive a very quick Corrado V6. To win in Class 2 against this group, you'll need a well-prepared Integra, Probe GT, Pontiac Grand Prix, or any one of these other eligible Class 2 cars and a heavy right foot. At the season opener at Mosport, this team finished well ahead of almost half the Class 1 field. Returning this year to defend his Class 1 and overall Valvoline Touring Car Championship is the veteran Ludwig Heimrath in the Q107 Porsche 968. Rick buys three Porsches, a Ferrari 348, BMW M3, Mercedes-Benz 2.3, and any number of these other eligible Class 1 cars will make an attempt to wrestle the title from Ludwig. But if Race 1 is any indication, it'll be a tough order. Ludwig and co-driver Larry Caruso had two unscheduled pit stops at Mosport, yet still took the overall win and set the fastest lap for the weekend. And chasing fastest lap honors this weekend is David Alloy in the number 98 Camaro. Both Alloy and co-driver Earl Gallegos live and work in the Los Angeles, California area. Alloy told us why the multi-class format appeals so much to him. Well, the three different classes we have out here um, really, uh, in my aspect, really make driving the most fun because uh, it's constant battles with with the slower cars and you're racing the faster cars and the slower cars you you can't give away any speed to the bigger cars when you're trying to move around the slower cars so um, it's really a challenge to to not not give away any speed at the times that you're you're working on the slower cars if you do you're losing the big picture um, with the the cars in your class that you're racing so the key element really is getting around the slower cars uh, without losing any speed and here's a battle where neither driver wants to give up any speed. 
Robin Buck in the 99 Camaro and Rick Bai in the 08 Porsche. Bai has been struggling with worn tires for a number of laps. Stay with us. We'll be right back with racing in the Valvoline Touring Car Championship on TSN in just a moment. And race number two of the Valvoline Touring Car Championship on TSN. Hello again. Here's the latest update from Race Control. It shows leading overall the number one black Porsche 968 driven by Ludwig Heimrat and Larry Caruso. Leading the number two class, we have number 37, Volkswagen Corrado, driven by Gord Cullen and Nigel Gleason. And the leaders in the number three class, the number 17, Honda CRX, driven by Ron Green and David Ross. The stage for all this action was set two hours ago, and Pat Gonzalez was there to call the start. The one-minute board is now being displayed to the teams and drivers as we get set for the start of this Valvoline Touring Car Championship race from Shannerville Motorsport Park. You know, this racing facility with its many configurations and tough technical turns is regarded as a premier testing center for all types of race cars. Testing the limits today are the three classes of the Valvoline Touring Car Championship. Today's race is for the Bridgestone Cup. Here's a look at the starting grid. Ludwig Heimrath, Larry Caruso, quickest in qualifying. They'll start up front. Ian Goggin will go all by himself in that Porsche 944. Rick by Harry Hatch in a Porsche 968. Bentham and Beattie in the Camaro. Sheldon Smith, David Lacey in the Porsche 968. Robin Buck and Keith Minkhorst. Then it is Gleason and Cullen in the Corrado. That's a Class 2 car. Jason Lee, John Coombe in a Firebird. Aloy and Gallegos in a Camaro. Rost and Green in a Honda CRX. They'll be quick, as will Primo and Lemieux. Stu Ballantyne, Norman Hing in a Porsche 944. Gutter Schmidt, Alistair Ogue in the Jetta. Sean Keenan will go all by himself in that BMW. Monik and Phillips in the Nissan. Holtum and Kuznicki in a Class 3 Corrado. McCullough and Gingrich in the Honda CRX. Terry DeFrancesco, Ian Phillips in the Mercedes. The cars rolling out of the final turn here at Shannonville, coming on the start finish straight away, and the green flag flies against the blue sky with temperatures about 21 Celsius. I feel conditions as the field charges through turn number one as we begin the first minute here of some three hours car off the racetrack that's number 52 len walton walton and other regional drivers will share this first hour of racing with the touring cars as part of the deutscher automobile club event here this weekend there you see the battle for the class two position that is the Gordon Cullen, the Corrado, as he runs up in the lead spot in the class. But up front, it is Ludwig Heimrath in the Q107 Porsche as they run out of the hairpin and down the back straightaway here at Shannonville. In at turn number six, Heimrath in that Porsche leads the field. Then we go back to Rick Bay in the 08 Porsche, then the 02 of David Lacey. And there's the number 38 car of Gunnar Schmidt as he pulls out, trying to pick up a position right behind the Norman Hing of Porsche 05, and now we go on board with number 38, Gunnar Schmidt, as he runs it through the chicane. Heartbreaking here as they come into that little tricky left-hander at Allen's corner, and now into that sweeping right-hander at turn nine to go back on the start-finish straightaway to complete lap number one. Gunnar Schmidt in the Volkswagen Jetta. There is Rick By in the Tim Hortons Pepsi Porsche. He is running in the second-place position, trying to chase down the front-running Porsche of Ludwig Heimrath into the hairpin. There you see Heimrath about 15 car lengths ahead. And right now, Rick By mixing it up with a couple of the regional drivers as they run the back straightaway here on lap number two. Ludwig Heimrath off the end of the back straightaway, about 20 car lengths ahead of Rick By. And now we look a little bit further back in the field. Terry DeFrancesco in that number 14 Mercedes-Benz. Blue smoke coming from the left rear of the car. That tire must be rubbing. And here is the battle for fourth between Lee Bentham in the NTN Bearings Camaro. And right behind him, David Lacey in one of the Rick By stable cars. That's the number 02 Porsche. As the drivers come out of that final turn and on the start finish straightaway. There is the number 38 Jetta running a little bit further back. But Ludwig Heimrath in that number one Porsche all oh, right into the wall there one of the cars I believe it was that 74 
Porsche 911, one of our regional drivers getting it right up into the wall. That's a really easy mistake to make right in a pack like that. You know, even after an extraordinary effort before this race, the number 14 Mercedes still had a tire clearance problem. Terry Di Francesco talked about what it takes to deal with problems like this. We're sleeping very little. That usually helps. Um, it's a lot of work. I have a lot of help. Guys that really are dedicated that come to the shop when I'm there and work just as hard as I do. They do the best they can with what they know and they do their part and I do my part. Uh, very long, long hours. And we have people who work for Air Canada, who work for car dealerships, who, have, who are themselves in business. Uh, so they know what it takes to put an effort like this together. Mostly it's time. We're looking at the battle for the third place position in class three. That is the 22 car, Derek Monick, driving that Nissan. And right behind him, the 53 car is Jim Holton. That is a four cylinder Corrado. Oh, it gets a little bit of a problem there. And they run back in the third and fourth place positions. This is Stu Ballantyne in the 05. And now we go on board with Gunnar Schmidt in the Volkswagen Jetta. Currently, they are sitting second in class two as they battle on to the start finish straightaway just behind the 05 of Norman Hing. That is a Porsche 944, one of the class one cars and running on the same pace as the Jetta of Gunnar Schmidt. There is your class two leaders, the Corrado of Gord Cullen. Cullen, who's got a lot of experience here at Shannonville, and we jump ahead on the racetrack to this tremendous battle going on for fourth between David Lacey, who currently runs at fifth, trying to get around the Lee Bentham NTN Bearings Camaro. This has been a battle that has been all over the racetrack. The two drivers separated by no more than a few car lengths through the first part of this race. Lacey in the Porsche 968. There you can see just a couple of car lengths as they run it through the left-hander of the S's. Now they set it up for the run into the hairpin. Lacey closing it up under braking to within a car length. And the two drivers will work it out onto the back straight away. Oh, big slide in the hairpin. That is car number 98, David Alloy, who has looped it around. We've also got a couple of other drivers involved. It looked as though nobody got into any serious contact, and they will all continue on the race track. Great battle for the third place position. The 75 of Lee Bentham mixing it up with that 0-2 car of David Lacey, and then right behind Lacey is Ian Goggin in the 0-6, and now we go on board with David Lacey. There you see the readout from the car in terms of the... Whether or not the brakes on, the RPM, the throttle position, as well as the speed of the car. And he is just all over that Camaro of Lee Bentham as the drivers come through the left-hander. There you see a move now as Goggin tries to take a look on the inside of Lacey. The three drivers close together as they run it into the top of the S's. Actually, Lee Bentham just pointed David Lacey by here, and Goggin is really, really close behind him, and it appears like he's going to give him some space to pass. You know, after practice, Doug Beatty talked about the challenge of racing against the Porsches. Um, we're going to be behind the eight ball a little bit. They still got the handling. They still got the good brakes. Um, and, you know, of course, the fuel economy. We're, we're still struggling a little bit, but I think uh, Rick Bai and his crew and everybody, they really try hard to equalize the cars. And I think you'll see it a lot better this year. And, um, you know, we're not up to speed yet, but uh, we're certainly getting there. This team has a lot of depth to it and uh, we'll be right at the front soon. Ludwig Heimrath continues to lead here at Shannonville. He started on the pole. And he